I stamped them in three different colors. I used a light aqua color, a pink color, and a yellow. I tried out a lot of variations before I ended up with the three colors that I picked, but in the end I used Aqua Mist from Paper Tray Ink. I used Pink Pirouette from Stampin' Up! And I believe the yellow was uh, Daffodil Delight, and that gave me the three pastel colors that I wanted. I had to stamp them each a couple of times, um, which was okay because they kind of lightened up once they dried, so it was that perfect pastel palette. Ooh, that was a tongue twister that I was looking for. And you can see the cat was not giving up. She just wanted to be part of this video, so I let her stay. But eventually she got bored and walked away. So then I took out my dies from the He Is Risen set. That's the new uh, release in the store this month. And you can see that's what is on the front of the card. I'm going to die cut out that middle panel. And while I'm over at the die cut machine, I'm also going to die cut four more pieces in the card base color with the dot with the cross dies and that's so that I can build them up on the front of the card to give the card that uh, look. So my mom got tired and I thought that I would take over and finish up this video for her. So basically you can see here that she is die cutting out the three uh, crosses on the card and she then cuts them out again three to four times, I can't remember, um, something like that, to give it a shadow look. And it seems that we're struggling a little bit here. No, we've got it. So, oh, she's already done it. So she's got these three to four pieces that are the same color as the background that we're going to use. And we're going to build it up. So we're going to flip it over really fast and glue all these pieces and lay them right on top of each other. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I can't line things up, so this is pretty impressive. And then she gets it all done, glued down, we slow it back down, and we stack them together. That's why it's called an eclipse card, because it's a shadowy look. Look it up. So the next thing we do is we glue down the panel that goes on the front of it, because otherwise, you just have three crosses and that doesn't look like a shadow card. So glue, 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 gotta use a lot of glue. And because of my mother, she is currently using the Gina K glue and she's just gonna go ahead and adhere that to the front of the base of the card that she created and she just lays it down perfectly. Again, that's why she's the expert and I stick to planning. So you can see that she's trying to get some of that cat hair off because as you saw in the beginning of the video, Poppers is a movie star and she likes to be in all of our videos. So we are just removing the cat hair here to give it a nice clean look. After she goes ahead and <laughs> perfects all the cat hair, cleans it off, she's gonna go ahead in with the glue again and just dot in a little bit of glue. You don't need a whole lot because this glue goes a long way. Uh, once she does that, she's going to lay in the um, crosses that she built up with, again, three or four pieces of construction, not construction paper, hello, cardstock. Um, and she's just going to place it in there and it's amazing how it just gives a shadow look just by being built up three to four, with three to four pieces of paper. And then once she has it down and she smushed it enough, she's going to uh, not leave it alone. She's going to add in some clear jewels because that's what every card needs, according to my mother. Um, but no, they do. They make a. Uh, they give a nice touch to it. So Cat has a ton of sequins and jewels in her shop, so you should definitely go and check them out. But right now, uh, Mom is just using her clear jewels, and she's going to go ahead and place them around and. I'm sure mom has talked about this before in her videos, but there is a certain um, way to do it or a certain triangle or three or something that she's tried to teach me that I don't know. Jewels are not my thing. I don't know how you guys do it. I don't know how you guys use your crystal katanas and place these down. They just kind of frustrate me, but I'm glad that you guys do because they do add a nice look to the card. So she went in and she added in these three jewels. She's going to go ahead and glue them down. The crystal katana, I will say, does make it easier. I have tried it and it is uh, life-changing. So if you don't have one, you should probably get one because they are truly wonderful. So once she's done laying these down, which I think she's done a very nice job of getting the triangle three look kind of thing to the card. 
You didn't see, but I was waving my hand in the air while I did that. So once the jewels are placed, she goes ahead and cleans up the area a little bit, especially those jewels, because if not, the cats will get into them. And next she has ribbon that are the pastel colors that match the brush strokes that were stamped at the beginning of the video. Um, and she just goes ahead and takes out um, quite a bit. It's, you know, very time consuming to do three pieces of ribbon um, and of course on film it's just never goes how you want but she does do two knots and she gets it where she wants it and then she trims the endings um, the endings the ends however you want to call them the tails sure um, and like I said, she makes two knots and then she can kind of adjust it. She did slip it through the middle of the card so you can tug on each side if you need to. Um, and then she goes in with her scissors and she just trims off a little bit, giving it a nice little, uh, not bow, but piece on the top of your card. So that is it. She added in that bow and I think it just gives it a very nice touch to the top and the whole card just matches beautifully. So here's the first card you can see and then the second card. I personally love them both. Uh, this is again the new uh, dies that are coming out called He Is Risen. The stamp set which is called Everyday Brush Strokes and again mom will link all of this down in the description for you. And those are the square zigzag dies which are perfect for any kind of card or anything that you're trying to achieve in the card making, scrapbooking, crafty world. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed mom's version of this because it is a beautiful card. It is one of my favorite cards that she's ever done. And she'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. Bye!